What's up everyone, my name is Cody Engel and I am an engineering manager turned staff engineer. And in this video, I'm going to draw on my experience as an engineering manager to teach you how to get that raise you've been looking for. First though, wanted to give a shout out to Dr. Jones 694 for leaving a comment on one of my previous videos, which was the inspiration for this video. But with that out of the way, let's get into the video. The first thing to think about when you're about to ask for a raise is to understand where you stand with your manager. So are you a indispensable member of the team? It, would your manager be sad if you left the company? If so, you're already in a pretty good spot for being able to advocate and ask for a raise. If you're not, like if your manager wouldn't care if you left or if they would be indifferent if you left, you really wanna focus on honing in on your skills. If you're a software engineer, check out this video next because that's going to really tell you how to become a better software engineer. So assuming that your manager would be sad if you left the company, the next thing you wanna figure out is how much money should you ask for? And you really need to do that research yourself. You don't wanna say, hey manager, I want more money because they're gonna ask you, well, how much more money do you want? So do your own research first. This YouTube channel has plenty of information out there, but on top of this channel, you can also go to websites like levels.fyi. What I like to do there is pretty much just enter in my, my job title, so staff software engineer, and then my location, and then really just figure out, hey, what are other companies paying? Another thing you can do while you're looking at levels.fyi is instead of looking at your own area, you can look at other companies in your space. So. If you work in fintech looking at the fintech companies if you work at the big tech companies looking at what they pay at like facebook google amazon those companies but really trying to figure out how much money could you get if you left your current company and then using that as a basis for understanding how much you should ask for another website that i like using especially if you're earlier on in your career is robert half they have a salary calculator and it's pretty close to what you might be able to expect to get asking for a raise at a more traditional company, I would say. So the downside with Robert Half is if you're a staff engineer or above, you're gonna be out of luck. But if you're a senior engineer or just regular software engineer, you're gonna be able to get some salary information and it's gonna be all location-based. So that'll be another good, helpful data point for you. Blind and Glassdoor are two other options that you have if you're not getting enough information. I tend to prefer Blind just because it's a newer app. They don't have really old salary data, so you don't have to worry about that sort of pulling the averages down. Glassdoor is good as well, but they tend to focus a little bit more on base salaries. They don't focus so much on total compensation, so talking about things like RSUs, bonuses, those sorts of things. I've also gotten pretty mixed results with looking at Glassdoor. I don't know that they're removing salaries from say a decade ago or how they're weighting them, but Glassdoor tends to be on the lower end of the scale, whereas places like levels.fyi, you're usually gonna get a little bit higher on the scale. So you can use a variety of sources, figure out what you're comfortable with asking your manager for. Another thing that's important to consider when figuring out what you wanna ask for is how your company structures their compensation. So if you only get a base salary, then that's all you get to work with. But if your company pays you in base salary, a bonus, stock options, those sorts of things, consider using all of that when you're talking about the raise. So asking for say $10,000 in just straight salary, that might be too much to ask for. It might not be, depends on you, but you might be able to say, go from like a 15% target bonus to a 20% target bonus. And that might be a little bit more palatable for your manager and the person that he's trying to sell this to. I always like to try to focus a little bit more on the base salary and then see what we can get from like the bonus and equity if, if that's gonna, be easier essentially. Okay, so at this point you should know how much you are going to ask for. You should be comfortable with what you are asking for. Rehearse it in the mirror a couple of times. Ask a friend if you can practice in front of them. Whatever you need to do to get comfortable for asking for money, that's what you need to do. But now you've scheduled that time, you're either face to face with your manager or zoom to zoom with your manager, however you're doing it. You want to let them know 
while you're both here, let them know, hey, I'm looking for a raise and then use concrete numbers. Don't try to like prefix it with anything. Like don't go, oh, you know, I, I've been doing a lot of research and I think I'm worth this much. Just jump right into it. Use the concrete numbers you're, you're looking for. If you're looking for $190,000 a year, just go, hey, Bob, I would like a raise. I've done some research and $190,000 is what I'm comfortable with asking for. And then your manager should be able to take that information and figure out what they can do with it. You should, of course, be prepared to answer any questions that they might have because after this, spoiler alert, they're probably not gonna be able to go and just give you the raise. They're gonna to have to go and talk to other people. So at this point, they're gonna be asking some questions like, where did you get that information from? How, how did you come to those numbers? They might ask, is that your top number? Is that your best number? Are you willing to negotiate it all? And really just be prepared to, to be open and honest with them. The next step for your manager after this conversation is really going to depend on how your company is structured, how just how things work essentially. So if your manager has their own budget, they might be able to just move some numbers around and, and all of that, but most likely they are going to have to go to someone else to get approval for this raise. So that person might be the head of HR, it might be the CFO of the company, they might have to go to their own manager to, to ask for the raise. And in that situation, everything that you've done up until this point, so becoming that indispensable employee, becoming that person that your manager wants to fight to keep, all of that is going to be really helpful because whoever they end up talking to, they're gonna ask, why are we gonna give this person more money? They were happy with the money that they had before, now we're adding extra costs, so why are we doing this? And then your manager is going to have to say, well, Cody's been doing this, he's been doing that, yada, 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 making the case for why the company should spend more money on you when last week they were spending less money on you. All this is to say that this can take time. So when I've worked with getting salary adjustments for direct reports, sometimes it's as quick as a couple of days. Sometimes it takes many months. It really depends on the unique situation and understand that when you ask for a raise, you're not necessarily going to get it right away but you are at least signaling to your manager, hey, I want more money. We need to do something about this because if I don't get more money, I am going to leave. Or at least that is sort of where your mind should be at. You don't have to be blunt and say, if you don't give me this money, I'm gonna leave because that can completely backfire on you. But you have to be prepared that if you don't get the raise in the time frame you're looking for, so if you want the raise in a week, probably going to be a little bit too quick, but if you're looking for the raise in a couple of months, that might be more doable. But at some point in time, you need to kind of call it quits and say, all right, I haven't been getting the money that I want for this amount of time. I'm going to go look for a new job. And the good thing about that is all the research that you did to ask for the raise, you can now use to help with your job search. So all the companies that you saw that are paying more money than your current company, those can sort of become a short list for you and those can be the ones that you start preparing for interviews, applying for, networking with people that work at those companies and getting your foot in the door there. Unfortunately, you aren't always going to get a raise and that's just the way it is. If you aren't quite ready to ask for a raise yet, YouTube thinks you're gonna like this video next, so go check that out and I will see you in the next video.